Hello, I'm Rosa, an artist and designer from Finland. Today I'm making an elephant from clay. First, let's wet the clay to be consistent. It will also behave better while drying, less cracking and bending. Then we need to make the basic shape of the elephant's claw. It's going to be hollow or else it will blow up in the firing. When combining pieces, it's important to make sure no air gets in the between. That can also blow up. Add some water, slice the surface a bit and press the pieces together. And then slide the clay together carefully. No shape needs to be exact just yet. We only need things to be roughly the right size. Everything can be refined later on. We'll use old pillow stuffing to make the clay keep its shape. Clay shrinks when it dries and it would crack if something hard was left inside. Now the legs. At this point they need to be a bit too thick and a bit too long because they will collapse a little while I'm working and we will carve them into shape later. Add the water, slice, press the pieces together and slide carefully. Next we add the trunk. After that it's time for a well-earned coffee break to let the clay settle a bit. I have to open the head to carve a little clay away from the inside. It will make the drying faster and the clay thin enough for firing. After finishing the basic shape, I wrapped the elephant in plastic to even out the humidity overnight. It prevents the joints from cracking. I didn't wrap too tight because I needed the legs to become firm. On day two starts the fun part for me, but the boring part for anyone watching. It's just refining by carving a little clay away from one place and adding some more to another. When the clay has hardened enough, I can flip the elephant on its side and carve the inside a bit more. I will also drill the legs to be hollow. After that, I could add the ears. We have an elephant, who would have thought? For the finishing touch, I made the tusks from a lighter colored clay. <laughs> 